what Al Quran says about Bani Israel, the children of Israel. This word, children of Israel or the Israel, is famous among the Muslims community. This word, who are the children of Israel, and as well as the Jewish or Christian community. So this word has occurred in the Bible and has occurred in the Quran, the word Israel and its children of Israel, house of Israel. But before I discuss the, what the Quran has to say, I will also discuss some verses from the Bible where this word has occurred. There are many places in the Bible this word Israel or the house of Israel is mentioned. But I will be discussing few verses from the Bible. Mostly I'll discuss what the Quran has to say about Israel or children of Israel. Now first of all, we'll see what the Bible has to say about the Israeli. I will be reading few verses from the Bible to have this comparative view. According to the Good News Bible, this is in the Old Testament, in the Genesis, the first chapter or the book of Genesis, that is 32. Verse 25 and 26, when the man saw that he was not winning the struggle, he struck Jacob on the hip and it was thrown out of the joint. Now in this verse you will note Jacob is the son of Isaac or the Isaac and he was struggling with a the man. They were having a wrestling between Jacob, Yaqub al-Islam, that is referred in the Quran as Yaqub al-Islam, but in the Bible they, it is referred as Jacob, the son of Isaac and the father, grandfather is Ibrahim. In the Bible it is referred as Abraham. So this Yaqub al-Islam is having a, a fight or a struggle between a man and this man struck Jacob, Yaqub al-Islam on the hip and it was thrown out of the joint. In 26th verse, verse, the man said, let me go, daylight is coming. And Jacob said, I won't unless you bless me, Jacob answered. Now in this, when they were fighting, the man struck Jacob and Jacob's hip was, joint was dislocated. And the man said, the light is coming, so leave me alone, this man said to Jacob. So Jacob said to this man, I will not let you go until you bless me. Jacob, Yaqub al-Islam is asking this man to bless him. And in verse 27, the man questioned, what is your name? The man asked, Jacob, he answered. That man who was having a fight with this Yaqub al-Islam, he asked, what is your name? So he said, Yaqub al-Islam or Jacob. The man said in 28 words, your name will no longer be Jacob. You have struggled with God and with men and you have won. Your name will be Israel. So the man whom Jacob was fighting said, your he's blessing now Jacob. He's saying your, your name will be no longer Yaqub al-Islam. You will no longer be Yaqub al-Islam or Yaqub or Jacob. You have struggled with God. You have fought with God. Astaghfirullah. This is Bible I'm referring to. You have struggled with God and with men and you have won the battles. And your name will be Israel. You, uh, the title or the honor is given to Jacob in the Bible as Israel. Now this is a biblical concept. I'm reading this biblical verses to educate to people that in the Bible, Jacob got the title because Astaghfirullah, he struggled with God and won. And he struggled with many men and won. So he was blessed by God Almighty as not Jacob, but as Israel. So this is how the word Israel is, came into existence in the Bible. To have this comparative view, that is why I referred, first of all, what the Bible has to say about this how this word Israel has occurred in the Bible. So that is the honor or the title that was given to Jacob by God Almighty in the Bible as Israel. In the Quran, you will be hearing who is Israel. 
البقرہ ٹو این آئے ٹو ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابِ لَا رَيْبَ فِي هُدَ الْمُتَّقِينَ You see, amazing thing is, amazing. You see, you read in the Arabic and we don't believe. You see, Allah says in Baqra 2 and I 2, ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابِ لَا رَيْبَ فِي هُدَ الْمُتَّقِينَ That is a book, does not have a doubt, a guidance to those who guard. In the Arabic, you see, ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابِ Can you see Arabic kitab was given? That is a book. لا رئی بفی it does not have a doubt a guidance حدل للمتقین a guidance to those who guard now this book written in the Ali Kitab is written in the book now in Surah Al-Isra 7, 2 and 3 verse وَآتَيْنَا مُوسَ الْكِتَابِ وَجَعَلْنَاهُ حُدَلْ لِبَنِ إِسْرَائِيلِ أَلَّا تَتَّخِذُوا مِن دُونِ وَكِيلًا we gave Musa Al-Kitab the book and we made it a guidance for Bani Israel, children of Israel, that you do not take an advocate other than me. Now Allah says, we gave Musa or Moses the book. The book was given to Musa, peace be upon him. The book was given to Moses, peace be upon him. And we made وَجَعَلْنَاهُ هُدَلْ لِبَنِ Israel, And we made it a guidance, a guidance of the children of Israel. In the previous ayat, ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابِ that is a book does not have a doubt a guidance to those who guard now in this ayat this book is for guidance means a guidance to those who guard right and Allah says that we gave Musa we gave Moses the book Musa was given the book and we made this book a guidance hudal lil bani israel a guidance to the children of israel allah tattakhidu min duni wakila do not uh, do not take uh, you do not take an advocate other than me so now this book is given to musa salam for the, for whose guidance bani israel children of israel and which book that is the book dalika kitab la riba fi hudal lil muttaqin so this is the same book given to musa salam a guidance to the children of Israel. Now, who are the children of Israel? Is mentioned the next verse. Zuriyata man hamalla ma'anuh innahu kana abdan shakura. Children of Israel are the offsprings whom we carried with Nuh. Surely he was thankful servant. Bani Israel, Bani Israel, or the children of Israel where they originated. Nuh al-Islam and his uh, believers, Nuh al-Islam delivered the message. I'm telling you in my own words. Nuh al-Islam delivered the message. There were people who followed Nuh al-Islam and there were people who did not follow. So those who followed, Allah say, Allah uh, gives a message to Nuh al-Islam that you make a ship and in that ship you you, there will be uh, some you take um, some pairs and some people and the rest who will not who do, who do not believe will be drowned in the sea the believers the believers who were with Nuh al-Islam were taken upon the ship and Nuh al-Islam's wife and Nuh al-Islam's son did not board the ship this was a ship of believers everyone was on them was believers on the on that on that uh, ship was not Nuhal son's wife and neither his son so because he was not a believer so these people who board the ship were the believers and these people who board the ship were the believers so from their offsprings those people who were on the Nuhal son's ship and from their offsprings people with Nuhal Islam from their offspring are the children of Israel Zuriyata man hamalla ma'anuh means from the offsprings who were with the Nuh al-Islam's people, people Nuh al-Islam and his people from their offsprings came the children of Israel so who, who, who is Israel? Israel is is the person or the group of people who was with Nuh al-Islam and the believers on the ship from their offsprings came the children of Israel. From the offsprings of the Nuh al-Salam and his people. From the beginning. 
the children of Israel came. You understand what I'm saying? It says, Zuryata, Zuryat means offsprings. Bani Israel, children of Israel are the offsprings whom we carried with the Noah's Ark. So Noah's ship and the believers who were with Noah Islam, they were together and they, they are the Israeli and from their offsprings or the progeny or the genealogy, these children of Israel came into the world. So we can understand that the, the children of Israel are those people who were in the no, believers, Nuwal Islam and his people and in the ship. They are from their offsprings is the children of Israel. So in the Bible, Isaac had a son, Yaqub. Yaqub had a fight with God Almighty. He got the title and this is Israel. Quran says about Nuwal Islam, Adam, again no and from Noah's people believers people came the, the from the progeny of them came the came this children of Israel so this is how we come to Israel is the is the people with Noah Islam and his people believers on the ship they are the Israel and from the from the offsprings of them came the children of Israel surah al fatiha 1 and ayah 567 Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'een Ihdina sirat al-mustaqeem Sirat al-ladheena an'amta alayhim Ghayr al-maghdubi alayhim mulad-dhaleen Only you, you we serve and we seek only your cooperation Guide us to the straight path The path of those you blessed over them Other than you were angered over them And they were not of those who estrayed now this Surah Fatiha is the first ch chapter of the Quran which is recited in the prayers. In the prayers, in every rakah we re recite this. In every rakat, we are reciting this. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'een. Okay? Surah Fatiha, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen and this. Everybody is reciting. The most, our important point is we say, Ihdina Sirat al Mustaqim, guide us onto the straight path. Mankind of all times is asking Allah to guide us onto the straight path. Ihdina Sirat al Mustaqim. Now, the, the following I said, you are asking, guide us on the straight path, and the path of who? Sirat al Ladina and Amta alayhim. Ghayr al Magdubi alayhim waladhalin. The path of those you blessed over them, other than you were angered over them, and they were not of those who estrayed. Now, this is the personality trait of people. We are asking guidance from Allah. Guide us on the straight path. The path of whom? The path of those that you blessed over them. Sirat al Ladina and Amta alayhim. And Amta alayhim, that you blessed over them. That is the path we want. To whom you have blessed, or the Rahma or mercy of Allah is over them, blessed over them. Other than they were, when uh, you were angered over them and they did not go astray, not the astray ones. This is the behavior or the personality trait that we want a path of those people whom you bless. Ihdina Sirat al Mustaqim, guide us onto the straight path. Sirat al Ladina and Amtali, the path of those whom you bless. Now, when I was reading this Quran and I'm reciting this five times a day in my prayers, and I should know the path of those whom Allah has blessed. This is Allah's ask, we are asking every time, every prayer. Sirat al Ladina and Amtali, you are asking from God the path of those whom you have blessed. We want the uh, guide us on the straight path and the path should be whom you have blessed, of those people whom you have blessed. So, so believe me, a surprising thing is that you open, this is Surah Fatiha, next Surah is Surah Baqarah. In Surah Baqarah 247 ayat, Allah says whom he is blessed. It says, Ya Bani Israel atkuru ni'mati allati an amtu alaykum. وَأَنِّي فَضَّلْتُكُمْ عَلَى الْعَالَمِينَ O Bani Israel, children of Israel, remember my blessings that I have blessed over you 
and surely I have favored you over the worlds. In Baqarah 2, Ayah 47, Allah is explaining who are those blessed people. And believe me, believe me, you read it and you don't get it. We are reading it, we don't get it. We don't get it that the children of Israel are the blessed people and they are being favored over the worlds. This is the description or the behavior as mentioned in the Quran. And I'm, when I'm talking to people and I'm saying, look, this is what the Quran says. Okay, no, no, they were blessed in the past. Doesn't, the Quran doesn't say that. They are the blessed people of all worlds. You see, وَأَنِّي فَضَلْتُكُمْ عَلَى الْعَالَمِينَ Alameen means all worlds, in all times. They are the blessed people, Bani Israel. You are asking five times a day, إِهْدِنَا الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِينَ Guide us onto the straight path. صِرَاطَ الَّذِينَ عَنَمْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ The path of those whom you have blessed. And in, in this ayah, Allah says, Ya Bani Israel, askuru ni'mati allati an'amtu alaykum wa anni fadhaltukum ala alameen. O children of Israel, remember the blessings that I have blessed over you and surely I have favored you over the worlds. Are they present day Jews? I'm asking a question to you people. Are these, this, the, the Jews are the blessed people? You want the path of them? When we say, Eidina sirat al mustaqim Guide us onto the straight path. If you get this, Jews are the Israelis. So are, this ayat, Allah is talking about them, Jews. Are they their blessed people? The Jews, present day Jews. Are you wanting the path of those who are Jews living in Israel? So you have to identify who, the, who are those people? Who are those people? We will see when I read, we will we'll come to know, inshallah. So in Surah Al-Jasiyah 45 and Ayah 16, وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِلَ الْكِتَابِ وَالْحُكُمُ وَالنُّبُوَّةِ وَرَزَقْنَاهُمْ مِنَ الطَّيِّبَاتِ وَفَضَّلْنَاهُمْ عَلَى الْعَالَمِينَ And without doubt we gave Bani Israel, children of Israel, Al-Kitab, the book, Al-Hukum, the government, al nubuwa the prophecy, and we gave them sustenance from the good, and we have favored them over the worlds. Now in this ayah says, definitely, without doubt, we gave to the Bani Israel, Al-Kitab, the book. <clears throat> Al-Kitab was given to Bani Israel. وَعَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا Bani Israel Kitab وَالْحُكُمْ وَالْنَبُوَى In the ayat Allah says, we gave Bani Israel the book, Al-Kitab وَالْحُكُمْ وَالْنَبُوَى This was given to Bani Israel. The book was given to them, the Hukum and Nabuwa was given to them, and we gave sustenance from the good and we gave them sustenance from the good and we favored them over the worlds. This is Bible. This is Holy Bible. This Bani Israel was given this book or this book? The Quran says, Walakad Ataina Bani Israel al Kitab. Which book? This book or this book? This the book? The right hand. Huh? The one you are holding in the right hand. But the Jews are present, they are not Israeli, Bani Israel? This one was given to the book, to the Bani Israel or this? Uh, very difficult to understand. Simple ayahs. It's not in Bakara, in Jasiya. Walakad athayna Bani Israel kitab. This book was given to, to the children of Israel. You have to identify who are the children of Israel. This kitab was given to the Jews or us, the so-called liberal Muslim community. This is the book was given, the hukum was given, and the nabuwa. The prophethood was given to all the prophets. We are the followers of the prophets. So who are the Bani Israel? And we favored them over the worlds. And we gave them sustenance from the good. And we gave them sustenance from the good. All the good things were given to these people, Bani Israel. So this we have to understand. Who are the Bani Israel? At the moment we came to know the book was given to Bani Israel, the hukum and the government was given to Bani Israel. The, 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 the question being asked is that did Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ascend into the skies? That's the question. The Miraj. That's the question. Did he ascend into the skies? Because normally people believe he ascended into the skies and he met so many on the first uh, sky there was somebody, seventh sky and then finally met God Almighty and he came back. And in, 
in a fraction of a second. That's the question. Now, the, normally they refer to Surah chapter 17, Surah Isra 17, verse verse. Okay? So, if, if may I have this one, please? Okay. Now, this is Subhan Ladi Asra Bi Abdi Laila Milan Masir Haram. Glory to God, glory to Him who did take His servant from the sacred mosque to a furthest mosque and whose precedence we bless. We bless the surrounding of the uh, Aqsa Mosque. Al Aqsa Mosque. This is what the verse is saying it. You know this verse. No, no, but, but you know, you have heard this. This is, this is the verse they make uh, uh, a concept that he ascended into the skies. Right. Okay? This mm -hmm. is the verse. Can I have two glasses? Can you, can you see these two glasses, yeah. all of you? <laughs> Why I am demonstrating to, so that you can, you know, people listen to, read something and they don't get it. Glory to God who did take a servant from the sacred mosque. You imagine your mind, where is the sacred mosque? No, 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 Masjid Al-Aqsa, the sacred mosque is Masjid Al-Haram. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is in Mecca. Okay. Mecca, yeah. Mecca Masjid Al-Haram. Yeah, Mecca to Jerusalem. That is what the people say is Al-Aqsa is in Jerusalem. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So, I'm. can you see this Masjid Al-Haram? This is Mecca. This is Jerusalem. This is Mecca Mosque. Have you been to Mecca? Have you been to Mecca? Yes. Yeah. Have you seen the Kaaba? Yeah. Yes. Have you seen the sacred mosque? Yes. Everybody has seen it? Yeah. Yes. How do you feel? The Barka is there. Barka means the blessing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Quran says, That is the first house made by God Almighty. It is a place of blessing. In Arabic is Mubarak. Mubarak means the place of blessing. This is Masjid Ram, Mecca. Blessing. Now he is moving towards, Allah says, glory to him who did take his servant from the sacred mosque by night towards Al-Aqsa. Now we will not say what, this is Masjid Ram, this is Al-Aqsa. But the description or the address of Al-Aqsa is described in the very ayat. Not Jerusalem, you know Jerusalem. Everybody knows Jerusalem. What Allah describes the mosque description by ayat, Alladi barakna hawlahu. We will bless the surroundings of Al Aqsa Mosque. From the sacred mosque, which is blessed, is going towards a, another mosque in the Jerusalem, that is what people say, and the surroundings of that mosque Allah will bless. Now, my question to you is, does the Al-Aqsa Jerusalem Mosque, can we see the blessing as we see the blessing in Masjid al -Ram? You tell me. You tell me. I haven't been to Aqsa. But you have been to Masjid al But you have seen on TV Al-Aqsa Mosque. Do you see that, that, that Al-Aqsa yeah. Masjid al every day you see on TV? And do you see the Masjid Al-Aqsa the same? You won't day? get the same feeling. No, same blessing you can't see, na? You, can you see? No blessing there. No That's blessing right. there. Uh -huh. No blessing there. Now all of us agree, you also, that there is no blessing in Al-Aqsa in Jerusalem. Huh? Yeah. But God's ayat is never wrong. What? God's ayat is? Allah never speaks wrong. He speaks the truth. Maybe our understanding is weak. So now, everybody will think in their mind. But don't answer please. Please do not answer. Please do not answer. Because I will I will show you thus now. I will show you just now how we all will arrive to the truth of Al Aqsa Mosque. Because from here he ascended to the skies. Yeah. So we have to understand this Allah Al Aqsa Mosque is where. Please do not answer. No, no. When I will say what I will say, all of you have understood that this Al Aqsa is not blessed as Masjid al-Haram, Mecca is blessed. We can't see the blessing at all. And Allah cannot speak the false. So I am I'm putting a question in your mind. Do not answer. Do not answer. The question is that after sacred mosque, after Mecca, which is blessed mosque, 
which mosque in your mind, don't answer, which mosque is blessed as it is blessed, similar to Masjid Ram today also. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went from Mecca to that mosque which is blessed today also and will remain till the doomsday. Did you got it? You got it? In your mind, did you, do you know that mosque that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went from Mecca to another father's mosque and it is blessed today also. Same blessing as like here. Blessing Mecca and there is blessing there also. You got that mosque in your mind? You got it? Now speak. What do you, what do you call this mosque? Aksa. No, I know Aksa. <laughs> but today what people say, this al in Jerusalem is not blessed. You know that it's not blessed. I don't know. It's not like, it's not like Masjid Ram. Of course not. Yeah. Achha, now, now which mosque is blessed like Masjid Ram? You got the answer in your, in your, in your yeah. mind is there. But you are afraid to speak up. Don't be afraid. They all know this. Come on, they all know this. Which is blessed like this. Have you been to Mecca and Madhya? Yeah, yeah. Where? You went to? Um, I went recently to five, three, five years ago. So what, where did you go? Well, we went to Mecca, to Masjid. Haram, you saw that Masjid. And another boss you saw? Another mosque you saw? Yes. Did you saw the another mosque? Well, she got it, no? Oh, no. Yeah, she got it, but she will not speak it. Because she's going to speak it, then she'll get all in the night the dreams. The dream will say, I, I said I don't remember really. You don't remember that boss? Hmm? You don't remember? You got the answer, everybody, no? You want to say what I think? No, no, you, I know everybody got the answer, but she doesn't want to speak. Why? I don't know why she doesn't. You have to. Okay. He's, he's asking. Yeah, yeah very nice. The you, other mosque. Yeah. In, in, uh, yeah, which another mosque is blessed? Not Al-Aqsa. Jerusalem mosque. is blessed. As Masjid Ram. As, 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 as the same intensity as that. Yeah, mosque? I can't think of any other mosque as blessed as that. <coughs> which one? No, there's the, uh, the mosque in, uh, surrounding the Kaaba, right? That is blessed. Yeah. And after that, there is another okay. mosque which is similar blessing like this. Because Allah says, glory to him who did only take, uh, good take his you servant. Want to, you want it only in Mecca, not anywhere else. No, I didn't say Mecca. From Mecca he went. Yeah. From Mecca he is going towards another mosque, which Allah has blessed. And he mm. went from Mecca to that... Madina. And the mosque name is... Um, um. But, yeah. <laughs> You people got it, no? Yeah, yeah. Masjid in Nabi. Yeah. Yeah. You knew it all the time. That's why. Masjid in Nabi. Yeah. And of course, Masjid. Yeah. So now, now, now that we come to the back question or question. So it means they are lying. He never went to Jerusalem. He went to Masjid. He, he the Masjid Nabi. And from there he never ascended. He went from glory. I will read again. Subhanallah asra bi abdi layla min al Masjid haram. Glory to him who did take his servant from the sacred mosque. Ilal Masjid Al-Aqsa, towards the Al-Aqsa Mosque, Alladhi Barakna Hawlaw, and we have blessed the surroundings. And we know Masjid Nabi is blessed, as till, till the doomsday it will be blessed. Now Al-Aqsa, there is another verse in Surah, uh, you open this uh, Surah, Surah Tawbah 9, 107. There is, now I am reading another mosque, tell me which mosque is. Now, Walladhina Takhadu Masjidan Dhiraran, Kufran, Wa Tafriqan Bainal Mu'mineen. وَإِسَادَلِ مِنْ حَارَبَ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولَهُ مِنْ قَبَلُ وَلَا يَحْلِفُنَّا إِنَّ أَرَدْنَا إِلَّا الْحُسْنَى وَاللَّهُ يَشْهَدُ إِنَّهُمْ لَكَادِبُونَ Now God says in the world today and all time there are people who are holding fast to a mosque وَالَّذِينَ تَخَذُوا مَجْزًا The purpose of holding fast to that mosque is ذِرَارًا to create loss Loss نُقْسَان ذِرَارًا كُفْرًا to do kufr to reject وَتَفْرِيقًا بَيْنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ and to, to disunite the believers. وَإِسَادَ لِمَنْ حَارَبَ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ مَنْ قَبَلْ and they are making a base to fight a war against Allah and His Messenger. There is a mosque which people are holding fast. I am reading ayat. Look, وَالَّذِينَ تَخَذُوا مَسْجِدًا and they are holding fast to a mosque which purpose for that is first is the loss to create loss to Islam then create a kufr rejection and to, to make a war against Allah and His Messenger from before. 
and then they say wala yahlifunna in aradna illa al husna and they they the halaf you understand the halaf they, they swear that by god our intentions is good and allah bear witness they are liars mm -hmm. so there is a mos by by today people are holding fast to create disharmony to create war against allah his messenger like you cannot see peace in israel never this is ayat says that reason it is because of that mosque they have created this mosque as they are holding fast to a mosque that this is our place but quran does speak about that mosque quran speaks about mosque to create disunity among the believers believers are divided that this is our mosque al-aqsa it is not ours al-aqsa is in medina which you can see the blessing just now you see the blessing this is a is, is a mosque of disunity to disunite the believers to create wars against allah's messenger from the and from the day i was born i'm i'm not much maybe maybe some people are older than you are older than me have you seen uh, peace in that area no since no. 1949 no peace so quran says you will keep on fighting because they are using that mosque as a base to fight wars you can read this you can can no no al-aqsa is in no, i see you are telling me about masjid nabi no 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 masjid nabi we say masjid nabi because we say mian and the quran refers to that as al-aqsa in medina but there is a this is masjid zarar a masjid a, a mosque which is creating confusion among the muslim world jerusalem jerusalem mosque you can call this as jerusalem mosque where people are disunited believers are disunited on this and there a war is being produced by because of this mosque this quran i'm i'm reading just read read it read i will read now look and there are those who put up a mosque by way of mischief and infidelity to disunite the believers and in preparation for one who war against allah and his messenger from before they will indeed swear that their intention is nothing but good but allah does declare that they are certain, certainly liars let it is exposed they, you know, how much wars we had and this will never be a peace in that land because the book says it look it says now is a god said never you muslim stand thou forth therein do not go and stand that mosque there is a mosque whose foundation was laid down from the first day masjid al haram on piety it is more worthy of standing forth for prayer there in in there are men who love to be purified for allah love those who make themselves purified which is then best allah is comparing this mosque and that jerusalem mosque which then is best is that he lays his foundation on piety of allah and his good pleasure or he lays that his foundation on undermined sand cliff ready to crumble to pieces and allah uh, and it does crumble to pieces with him into the fire of hell and allah guy is not the people who do wrong the foundation of those who so built is never free from suspicion and shakiness in their hearts until their hearts are cut to pieces and allah is all knowing wise now this i have your question was that did he ascended into the skies now quran doesn't speak about ascending into the skies he refers from one mosque to another mosque and who's who is who is who is he blessed so now if if we know that from in the history they say he went to jerusalem and from jerusalem he went into the skies that is all in history in tradition but if i just now explain that he never went to jerusalem he went to medina we all know that he went to medina that that mosque is blessed mecca mosque and medina mosque are blessed and the similarity is there with the blessing the jerusalem mosque is to create this harmony to disunite the believers and it is describing this mosque and people are holding fast to it this is also new na this is absolutely new. absolutely new things yeah. coming forward